How's it going everyone? Manuspider here, bringing you another episode in the Pokemon TCG series. So today is going to be a really cool episode because I do have some nice news, which is the Spring Bonus Rewards, which is going to be starting tomorrow, which is April 1st. Now, really cool thing from Pokemon TCG Online. Great job, guys. For the month of April, so from April 1st to May 3rd, you'll receive your double trainer tokens for your daily versus matches and a special weekly login bonus. So if you're short on coins, short on trainer tokens, now is the perfect time to log in, get some games in and get a lot of value out of it. So again, Pokemon TCG game online, don't ask that twice, but Pokemon TCG online, uh, dev team, thank you so much. This is a great thing, especially with everyone locked indoors these days. So if you've got some time on your hands and you wanna rack up some uh, trainer tokens, now is the perfect time to do it. Be like Meowth, love those coins. So. I'm definitely going to be making use of that because, as you know, I am working my way through all of the theme decks. And the theme deck we're going to be looking at today is quite a nice old one, and we're going to be looking at the Twilight Rogue deck. Now, if you're not familiar with what I'm doing, I am working my way through all of the theme decks from newest to oldest and see how they perform these days in the current meta. It's quite exciting when you see an older theme deck do really, really well. Also, Remember that I'm currently running a giveaway. Uh, I'm giving away a really awesome GX card and that is ending in a week's time. It is next week, Tuesday, which is uh, the 8th of April. So this is after work brain, so I might be a bit slow tonight. But anyway, the card for that is above my head. Click on that to get a um, to link to the video to get all the details. All right, so don't forget, if you want to pick up a free card, hit that card. Hey, that worked. Anyway. So today we're going to be looking at the Twilight Rogue deck. So let's pick it up and let's have some fun with it. Now, I'm not very familiar with this deck. I think I have played against it once. So I'm quite keen to actually play it. So we've got ourselves a Duskull. So at least it's a Psychic type deck, which is quite cool. Dark Guidance, put a basic Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench. Okay, so I don't want this as my starting Pokemon. Dusclops. Uh, Nitro and put one damage counter on each Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. Interesting. Flip a coin if hits, takes 30 more damage. Eh, that's trash. Nitro is interesting. It hits everything, but interesting. And Dusknaw, Dark Invitation ability. Once during your turn, before you may attack, you may have your opponent reveal their hand. I like this already. Put a basic Pokemon you find there onto your opponent's bench and put three damage counters on that Pokemon. That I like. I like the idea of Dark Lord just sitting on my bench, pulling out Pokemon from my opponent's hand and putting three damage counters on them. Now, I guess it'll only work if my opponent doesn't play a basic Pokemon or if my opponent won't have bench space and that's also not gonna work. But it's interesting. And then Mind Jack for three energy. This attack does 30 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That makes sense. So I could do 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 180 damage, which is pretty impressive. That'll knock out 99% of Pokemon you'll encounter on theme decks. Okay, fully charged. This dust knock can really hit hard. Soul Rock, this is your active Pokemon. Your first active Pokemon, double draw, draw two cards. And the Solar Heat, if there's any stadium card in play, this attack does 20 more damage. No one uses no one uses stadiums in theme decks, so hey. Furfu, return, uh, draw into a 5. We know this card, we love this card. Nice nah, active Pokemon. Inkay, this gives me hope. And Metamar, that's what I want to see. Psychic Recharge, we know this card from the Laser Focus deck. Brilliant supporter card. Rockruff, oh, that's a cute picture. Very sad, Rockruff. Surprise attack, flip a coin if Tails this attack does nothing. Eh. Lycanroc, this is where hopefully it's going to get good. Dangerous Rogue. This attack does 20 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So there we see the synergy. You want to have your Lycanroc in the front with your Dusknaw in the back. Bringing things out. That can be really dangerous. If your opponent's like basic Pokemon at 50 HP or less, that, that hurts. Because you're, you're... Okay, I like this. I like this quite a lot. Okay. Uh, foil, non-foil. Slandered Singe. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. Always frustrating to deal with. And then we're going to sell some Salazzle, Nasty Plot. Search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. I always, I'm very happy with that. And Severe Poison. 
Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Put four damage counters instead of one on that Pokemon between turns. That's going to be painful to deal with. Okay. You have forced your opponent to swap out quite a lot with this deck. Interesting. Field Blower. Cool. That's not going to come in very often with the theme decks. Talon Ball. Good to see. Switch. Always happy to see that. Nest Ball. Always happy. Escape Rope. I do like Escape Rope. Um, Rescue Stretcher. Fantastic card. Brooklyn Hill. Hey, we actually have a stadium card. So maybe Soul Rock will do something. Once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for a basic water type Pokemon or basic fighting type Pokemon. Put it onto their bench and shuffle their deck. That's that's actually pretty good. I know it does help your opponent. Uh, well, it, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's a bit awkward because there's a lot of people playing water decks and there's towering heights. So it's a little bit awkward. It'll be, it'll be great if it didn't include water type Pokemon. Interesting though, I like that. Cynthia... Pokemon Fan Club, Lily, Lady, Prof, Draw 3, Weakness Policy, Escape Board. Okay, overall pretty good. I'm liking the idea of this. It's got some pretty clear synergy. Um, let me half this deck so I know I actually have it. Um, it's, it's got some pretty clear synergy. I hope this deck plays quickly. That's my only concern, is that it's going to be a little bit slow. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned it's going to be slow. If you're going to be a slightly older deck, a Stormcaller deck, this deck can be incredibly frustrating though. So I'm glad I am running Switch, which I'm going to need to hold on to in case I get Paralyzed locked. Which I've had before, and it's not fun. Um, as for first or second, um, eh. Uh, uh, eh. This is not really the start I want to be seeing, at all. Um, so yeah, not a good starting opening hand. I don't want to be starting with an Inkay. Inkay needs to be on my bench. Um, yeah, no, this is not what I want to see. Uh, okay, Nest Ball, that's a start. Um, I'm actually going to nest into a Soul Rock to get draws out. I think that's a better option. Because the issue I have with this NK is that it's probably going to go down relatively quickly and it doesn't help me. So I'd rather get Soul Rock online. Um, I want, the thing is, what I want is that double draw, drawing two cards every turn. If I'm not mistaken, this Blitzor is weak against fighting. So at least if I do hit my opponent, I'll be dealing 40 damage, which is something. It's not bad. Um, yeah, there's Zip Striker. Yeah, I'm going to get the KO this turn, unfortunately. Which is frustrating. Um, <clears throat> not much I can do about it. Bad start, and I don't even think I'm going to go for the attack. I need double draw right now. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what's in my throat. Uh, let's start charging this up, because I've got no better thing to do right now. And I'm going to go for a double draw. As tempting as the damage is, especially for 40 damage, um... I need better Pokemon. I can't I can't work with what I have at the moment. Which is very concerning. Uh, luckily I'm not gonna KO this turn. But this is oh man, really? That's frustrating. Good play on my opponent's side though. That's an awesome play. That's a really great play. Well done. That was awesome, well done. Well played. Very good use of um, escape rope. Okay, let's go for... If we can get super lucky and get like stadium stadium card from that, we're actually going to be doing a lot of damage now. So I do want to do this. And my basic card is going to be a rock rough. And let's get that rock rough. Starting to look a little bit healthier. And let's go for solar heat. Which is going to be doing 80 damage. No more, because of um, Prof. Yeah, that was perfect draw, actually. I, yeah, can't complain about that. Um, that is a rather unfortunate energy draw, though, on my side. Um, oh, my opponent's really down to four prize cards. That's terrifying. So I sincerely hope right now that my opponent does not have another professor. Okay, they don't have another professor. I'm good. I got, like, one turn. I do want to play Cynthia next turn, though. 
Um, as much as I want to hold on to this Duskmaw, it's not going to happen anytime soon. And I need better draws because this is a serious problem right now. Because uh, the Sorok's going to go down next turn. And I need to get something going. Um, oh man, these draws. Um, I'm not even going to bother with energy right now. Let's see, what do we get? I'm okay getting less cards. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Man, what is happening? Oh, this is frustrating. Ah, oh, man. I don't think this game is going to happen, unfortunately. Some really, really bad draws. Ah, oh, Pokemon takes it, strike it back, and then do hand reshuffles. Ah, man, that's frustrating. Um, what will help right now? A Lycan Rock would be pretty good, because he would deal 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. If I can get a Lycan Rock off next turn with Professor, um, I could actually get a KO, which would be pretty huge. I'm afraid that I'm still too far behind to actually get anything meaningful. Um, but hey. Oh, energy switch. Very clever plays. My opponent's making some really, really good plays. That is awesome. Well done. I'm liking... This is a good opponent. I'm liking that quite a lot. Alright, come on. Good draws. Lycan Rock. Not Lycan Rock. That is a nest ball though, but that's not what helps me. So, let's go for... Let's get rid of a Rock Ruff from my deck so I can't possibly draw it. I should have looked to see if I actually had any Lycan Rocks, but let's see. Do we get... We do get Lycan Rock. It takes 20 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So that is amazing because we're going to deal 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 120 damage base, plus Professor's 140. So I will get the KO this turn, which is huge. Um, in terms of Pokemon that I want, I want to go for Duskull. So I can start going into Dusclops next turn. Um, Again, this was very tempting, but in came maybe next turn I can get off. So let's start charging that up. And let's go for Dangerous Rogue. Okay. Uh, the problem is I am going to lose this Lightning Rock this turn. Um, unfortunately, my opponent does have the prize cards left. Which means I'm going to be taking 160 damage. So, yeah. No hope there, unfortunately. Because basically, as long as my opponent has one energy in their hand, I'm in serious trouble. So, 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 what is going to happen next? Um, Rockruff is going to have to come in next turn, and then somehow Dusknaw is going to have to finish this game for me. And I'm not quite sure how that's going to happen. Because it ain't looking good right now. Um, with the Duskull, which is something at least. Let's get this going. Um, let's get another rock rough down. Actually, I don't want another rock rough down because it doesn't actually help me right now. Um, yeah, let's just carry on charging up to dust stops because, quite frankly, I think this game is done. Um, I can get rock rough down just because. And I don't think I have any more fighting type Pokemon. No, I don't. This is a really unfortunate game because like, this deck's got such cool synergy and I really want to show it off. And it just hasn't happened in this last game. Super frustrating. Yeah, and here comes the, the lock. My opponent's set up now, which is a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. Because the frustrating thing is, even Dustmore coming in, not being able to get Nugganadel down is a huge problem. Um... Even if I send in Dusclops now... I basically need to draw... I need to draw Escape Rope. No. That's game. Cool. Well played, my friend. Um, yeah, I got bad draws this game. Nothing there handy, though. Okay. Well played. It happens sometimes, you get some good games, you get some bad games. 
and an opening hand of your stage 2 Pokemon and energies is not what you want to see. So that was unfortunate. Um, not a great first game of the deck, but let's see if we can move on to a better game. Um, oh hey, I forgot I had that challenge. The, the little the deck performed actually performed pretty well. That like that like rock throws out a lot of damage pretty quickly. So I'm happy with the little I saw. Um, hopefully some some better draws in this next game. I don't want to be starting with an Inkay as my first active Pokemon. Um, nor my opponent having a stage one evolution on the first turn. That always does suck. Hey, you're looking really 90s, my friend. Two Snorlax. Interesting. So going up against Soaring Skies, this is going to be a hard matchup. Uh, at the best of days, uh, more so with this deck, which is frustrating. Um, again, not a great opening hand. At least it's, it's double mulligan, which is something. Um, wow, I am not running lucky today. Again. <sighs> that is not fun. Um, oh yeah, let's see. Third hand, do we get lucky? Come on, I always get so unlucky with new decks. I don't know what it is. Whenever I buy a deck, I end up mulliganing in the first like three or four games. Or just getting really terrible draws. <sighs> Apparently I'm not allowed to do first impressions. Okay, this is now a good opening hand. This is what I want to see from the start. Now, because I've got so many energies in my hand, Furfu is not what I want to have down first. Because I'm not really going to get great value out of Furfu because I can't play these cards. What is with this deck and energy? Oh my word. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, my opponent is now going second, which means I'm gonna get hit first. Um, not that I can even deal damage because Tornadus is minus 20 damage. He resists me, which is frustrating. But hey, it happens. So Soul Rock is purely gonna be drawing this game, um, which is okay. I'm not terribly concerned with that. It's uh, the main reason I have Soul Rock. Although these energy draws are not helping. Okay, come on, Solrock, what do we get? We get... It's not really what I want to see. Um, Lady, in a sense, is decent because it gets all the energies out of my deck. So I stop drawing them. Um, but at the same time, it is not useful at all. And I'm going down next turn. I'm, I'm going to get one behind energy as well, which is highly frustrating. Uh, so let's get these out of my deck, because I certainly don't need them anymore. I have more than enough energy. Please don't draw any more energy. Double draw. What do we get? Some Pokemon, please. Okay, it's an NK. It's a start. Um, I still have how many energies in my hand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 of my 13 cards in my hand are energies. Not what I need right now. Furfu's return is never going to do anything. Okay, Brooklyn Hill is actually super useful right now because I can actually get a Pokemon out of it. My issue is I'm going to be going down very, very soon. Um, I'm actually going to put on Inke because Hypnosis might slow this game down, which is what I desperately need right now. It is the last thing I want against Soaring Skies, is to slow the game down. But right now, I've got nothing. I genuinely have nothing right now. Um, not a great first impression. It's a true first impression, but it's not a great one. So, so far, I'm not enjoying this deck, because I haven't given the been given the opportunity to enjoy this deck. And I sincerely hope it improves, because here comes Dragonite. Um, which is not what I want to see. Least of all when I have nothing. Oh, there's a Thunderous. Even better. Ah, oh, lovely. Well, there's another Rock Ruff, which is great. Especially considering that I can bring out another Rock Ruff. See, like, I have Pokemon in my deck. See, they are there. There's also Supporter Cards. There's lots of Supporter Cards. I don't need any more energies. So let's put this here because reasons. And let's go for a return. 
Um, because why not? The frustrating thing is I'm going to be losing in K in two turns with my opponent using a Thunderous Tornado. So well played my opponent not taking Dragon Art and getting a Thunderous down because apparently all I can draw is basic Pokemon and energies. So maybe next game we'll have a good one. So I might need to go into a fourth game with this deck to actually show it off. Um, so let's go into Inkei, because Inkei is going to go down next turn regardless. And let's see. We got a Professor. What do we draw with Professor? Something that does damage? No, nothing that does damage. Okay. This is not terrible because we can start doing something with it. Um, this only searches for basic Pokemon, which doesn't help me because here might be Rough Ruffs. So let's start charging up this Duskull. And next turn we can do a draw three and hopefully get luckier. So, Hypnosis. Do we get lucky? No, we do not. That apparently is the theme for tonight. <laughs> oh man, this is so frustrating because I want to show this deck off. So I'm definitely going to have to have maybe two more videos with this deck at this rate to actually show it off. Um, from the plus side, they look cool. Which is something. Um, and it's great advertising for Soaring Skies because, you know, the deck is functioning. Um, but yeah. So... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a bit frustrating not being able to actually do anything. Um, this other rock rough is going to go down this next turn. So it can go up this turn because it's going to go down anyway. Let's see, what do we get? We've got ourselves a Salazzle, which is not going to be terribly helpful right now. Though it does help now that we've got a Salandit. So we're slowly, slowly getting there. Let's spread the love of energies. Next turn, hopefully bring in a Salazzle and just frustrate my opponent. The problem is my opponent will just swap out into Thunderous and get a KO. So I'm very tempted to just go for Nasty Plot instead because at least that will do something. Um, partially. All right, so nothing else to do. I'm gonna end this. Uh, this is probably going to be another very short match uh, Simply because I don't have anything I Would like to maybe get a dust or out that would be pretty cool um, Maybe see it for a change uh, The thing is if I can get If I can get Lycanroc off somehow It'll be super cool um, But at this stage I doubt it. I really doubt it um, you want to get Dusknaw out super early to basically fill your opponent's um, bench with rubbish and to fill it with Pokemon that have damage counters. So let's definitely go for Slandit. Um, that's another Slandit, which is actually really good right now. Let's get that over there. Um, let's get ourselves a Professor, see what we draw. We don't draw what we need, unfortunately. Um, I mean, get that down. At this point, I don't think my plays are actually making a big difference. Um, let's start charging with Dusclops just because we can. Uh, next turn, I will be able to hopefully bring out Dusknaw as long as both aren't prize cards. They're not both prize cards, which is something. I can bring a Lycanroc out. Because um, I'm going to bring out this Dusknaw anyway. <sighs> okay. This is not a win for this deck. I don't know why my opponent conceded there. Um, okay, that's actually frustrating. I don't like that. I don't like getting a win like that. How's it going, everyone? Uh, unfortunately, I jumped into a game three there, and halfway through the game, my net dropped. Super frustrating. Um, so this is the fourth game I'm having with this deck. Hopefully it goes well. The second game actually... Uh, sorry, the third game was actually looking pretty good. Uh, so I'm rather frustrating that... So I'm rather frustrated my apologies, that it got cancelled. Um, yeah, I, d I don't know what it is at the moment. I'm having a few issues with being disconnected from the game. I do think it's my net as... The problem is my laptop's quite far away from my router. I've put in a rage extender and hasn't helped as much as I would have liked. Um, I have anything else to do. And I can't run a physical ethernet cable. So I'm not sure what else to do. <laughs> I really tried with the range extender and that did nothing. Uh, but hey, it happens sometimes. So, let's see. This is... This is an alright hand if my opponent fills their bench. 
And let's see if they do. Uh, that's not looking great so far. That's not what I want to see. Uh, I'm going to get Reckless Rogolf. Not for a lot of damage. I'm going to hit 60. I was hoping my opponent would play another um, Pokemon. I can use Escape Rob now to actually have the KO and Cotton E. Which might not be a terrible idea. Let's see what I draw. Hmm. Problem is the Thraki is going to hit me next turn and it's going to hurt a lot. I don't know if I can afford another turn. I need to get as much damage off on this Thraki as goofy as possible before it turns into a Thraki. Man. I really wish my opponent had one more bench Pokemon. Oh, that's frustrating. I needed one more bench Pokemon and I would be in such a great position. Because now this is gonna hurt. A lot. Man, I could have taken out Cottony as well. Ah, decision decisions. Let's see, what do they do? They had a Thwacky in their hand, they're reshuffling. Ah, oh, that's KO. I didn't see that. As I was saying with my previous video, my previous game that actually got cut, um, I have terrible luck with new decks. This is clearly apparent. I think I need to make a gag reel for the times I've complained about that. So, let's try game five and hopefully get a win with this deck. So far, <laughs> so far I don't really have a first impressions of this deck because I haven't seen it function. Um, we are up against Stormcaller. How I have advantage, I shouldn't. Not with this, not with my luck tonight. Um, of course I lost the coin flip. It, it's hard not to get salty after like five games of nothing working. Um, let's see. Is this gonna work? <laughs> like, I like the concept of this deck of getting, basically punishing your opponent for having lots of bench Pokemon and for drawing out their bench Pokemon. I think it's a cool concept to build a deck around, and I really want to see it happen. I haven't seen it happen yet. And I think it's less the deck and more of my really bad luck. Um, and let's see how it goes. I really don't want to go an entire video of not having a single win. That is terribly sad. Uh, one thing I have realized, this deck consistently draws a lot of energy. Every game I've had, I've had more energy than I could ever play. And that seems to be a recurring theme with this deck. Which is highly frustrating. And is not something I want to see. So, let's see. Um, let's go for Professor. If we can draw a Stadium card right now, I'll be super happy. Okay, no Stadium card, unfortunately. Um... Let's get that get down. I don't want to pop weakness policy on NK. I would prefer it on a Dusclops. And Solar Heat's now going to deal 40 damage. That's 80 damage. That's going to get the KO. So that's not a bad start. That is not how I thought it would go. And there's the Stadium, which is actually pretty good. Um, yeah, that's pretty decent because I'm going to be getting a KO every turn now. Unless my opponent evolves the Blitzel, which will be unfortunate. So my opponent's most likely going to rush this Nagana Dell down. Uh, understandably. I uh, 100% understand what they're doing. Let's see what I can do about it, though. I'm most likely going to use Cynthia on this next turn. I don't need a handful of energy. And weakness policy is not valuable enough to keep. 100% not valuable enough to keep. Um... Oh, that's a clever play, because as long as my opponent has the energy in their hand, they're going to be able to get off. That's actually very clever. I like it. Well played. Um, I don't even want to play an energy right now, because there's no real point. So, oh, I guess there is a point if I can get a Rock Ruff down. Um, with Brooklyn Heal and start getting Rock Ruff charged up. So let's do that, actually. Let's get a Rock Ruff down, let's get a Fighting Energy down there, and then let's use Cynthia. Let's see if we can get a better hand. Um... Arguably, that is better. Uh, I... Um... Let's bring out the... Lycanroc if we can. 
And like as much as I want to bring out Dusclops, I think the right play here is Malamar. So I can start getting that going. Malamar is only Psychic Energy, which is not going to help me just yet. But it will help me down the line, which is why I want it. And I do have Pokemon Stretcher. Because there's a good chance that I'm going to be bringing back this Rockruff once the Lycanroc goes down. Um, Solrock is going to go down next turn. I'm aware of that. 100% aware of that. Which is okay. Um... I'm actually going to put that there, so I can go swap in, just in case I'm not sure how this is going to go. So let's go for Solar Heat. I'm 100% aware my opponent's Nagana Dull is going to get the KO. So long as my opponent has one energy in their hand, they're sorted. It appears they don't, which is really unfortunate for my opponent. I wonder what that last card is. It's probably an evolution type Pokemon. So all things considered, this game has gone pretty well, actually. Um... Not perfect, but pretty well. I, I really can't complain. I've got two KOs in a row, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I did get lucky in that sense. Uh, I don't think I'm going to ever get this Dust Slops off, uh, Dust Gnaw off, but that's all right. My main concern right now is this Nugginadel because it's still 130 HP. It's going to be very difficult to deal with. And like Lycanroc is only going to be dealing... 2 for 60 damage, which is not going to be enough. Uh, so let's get Lycanroc down. I do want to get this Psychic Energy down on him regardless. Because if Lycanroc goes down, at least I can get that energy back. So let's get another Rock Ruff down. Which means I can use Rescue Stretcher to bring back my Lycanroc when it eventually goes down. Which is pretty nice. That's a pretty decent setup. Let's go for Lady this turn. And I'm going to go for Lady this turn because I don't have a better trainer card to play. And I may as well have these energies in my hand. There's nothing wrong with that. And let's continue applying the heat. The, the Applying the heat. <laughs> yes. Uh, applying the pressure to my opponent. So far, this has been pretty good. Um, again, this deck with the energies. I don't understand it. Um, my opponent seems to be having a really bad game. Which is super unfortunate because it's not a nice way to gauge uh, this deck. Um, unfortunate for my opponent not to get Thundershock there because it is going to give me a prize card. Uh, but hey, I'm not going to look for another Rock Ruff. I don't want to take up that much bench space. Um, let's get this Lycanroc fully online. I know that's always the best thing to do. I should have put the energy on that Rock Ruff, but hey, let's go for Solid because I know what's going to happen next turn. Nugget is going to come in, destroy a Soul Rock. Uh, after that, Lycanroc can come in. Deal 100 damage, we have 30, H, um, 30 HP left. And I can start charging up the second Rock Ruff from next turn to bring back that Lycan Rock. Going for the reshuffle. I was going to say, are they going to go for a switch? But no, the reshuffle makes a lot more sense. Um, charging up, 100%. No, um, no surprise there. Turning point is going to get the knockout on Sol Rock, which is unfortunate, but not unexpected. I can go into Lycanroc next turn for 100 damage. There is unfortunately no way I'm going to get the KO. But Naganadel should not knock me out next turn. But let's see. Again with the energies. Um, I don't know what I've done to deserve this, but hey. Apparently I need energy in my life. Well, I actually need energy in my life. <laughs> it's been a rough few weeks. Um, okay, I never thought I'd actually even use that a rock attack. But hey, it actually came in handy for 100 damage. Uh, so, actually, Lycanroc's not going to go down this turn, which is quite cool. Um, that's always frustrating with Ampharos, but luckily I have a switch in my hand with an Ink ready to go. Ooh, I'm sorry, my friend. Timer Ball 1 failed. Can your Timer Ball number 2 come in better? Hey, Timer Ball 2 paid off, which is quite good. It's, it's something. Uh, I guess that's the average, one from each. Uh, not sure what opponent's going to look for right now. Um, Blitzel, maybe? Yeah, they might have Blitzel in the hand to go into Striker. That's what makes the most sense. Uh, that's what they... Um, I personally would have used Draw 3 first. So that you could make a more informed decision as to what you want to do next. But hey. So it looks like our opponent didn't have the energy enough for... Um, Amphros to paralyze me. 
In terms of my hand, there's not much else to do. Um, I may as well start charging up this Malamar. Uh, well, I may as well put the other energy on Rock Rock, actually. That makes a lot more sense. I'm going to use this Lycan, lose the Lycan Rock now, but I'm okay with that. I don't want to use Brooklet Hill. I don't think I want to use Brooklet Hill just yet. Nothing else I need to play right now. Got our weakness policy back, which is something, I guess. Not going to make a difference this game. And let's go for it. Celerock, another hundred damage. And there we go. So my opponent is going to bring in Ampharos next turn. And with Pokemon... With Rescue Stretcher. I keep saying Pokemon um, Stretcher or Pokemon Rescuer. But with Rescue Stretcher, I will be able to bring back my Life and Rock next turn. Which will be a game over for my opponent. Because my opponent is weak to Fighting type. To Rock type. So it looks like we finally got a win with this deck. Um, it feels very dirty, considering my opponent has such bad luck. I don't enjoy winning like that. Um, but hey, there's not a lot we can do about it. It's a card game, sometimes we get lucky and sometimes, sometimes we don't. And it looks like unfortunately my opponent did not get super lucky this game. Which is never nice to have, you always want a good matchup with your opponent. Uh, there's Duskull, which I'm glad has finally come out. Um, just got power to my hand. Let's bring Lycan Rock back. Let us load up this Rock Graph and let us end the game. So, well played to my opponent. I am sorry, you got some really bad draws, my friend. Um, but hey, it, it happens. Trust me, I know your pain. <laughs> Another energy. Alright, let's jump into one more game with this deck. Um, that's. It's essentially out of five games, one win, which is super bad. Uh, I know technically I did have one more win, but that was my opponent conceding, which I never count. Uh, it's it's not something, it's not a way I ever want to win. Um, and unfortunately, it's just part of the game. Well, I'm using Fight and Type Pokemon, so I may as well go for that and continue that challenge. So let's go for our last game with Twilight Rogue. Hopefully, it goes better. Uh, that game actually did go super well. Uh, weakness played a big part in that game though, which isn't a fair judgment on this deck. So we're going up against Towering Heights, which should be a very good matchup. Towering Heights is a very consistent deck, which is very powerful. So I'm curious to see how this game goes. Let's see. Do we go a decent opening hand? Not really. Um, this is really not a good opening hand. Man. Okay, that's slightly better. Uh, let's put that energy there, because I can't even use Singe. Next turn, let's see if we can get a draw through off to get some Psychic Energy. I've had nothing but energy for the last couple of games, and now I have a game with no energy. So, this deck is certainly consistent in terms of my luck, and that is getting none of it. Let's see what happens. Um, my opponent is charging up the back draw, so they're most likely going to have a switch in their hand, getting ready to switch in. Now that is not the energy I need, nor the energy I want. Do we get some? We do get some psychic energy. That's that's actually a better draw. Um, do I even want to singe? I think the answer is no. Now, it's a bit of an odd play, but the reason for that is, I'm fairly certain my opponent has switch. For the reason that they didn't charge up this front throw, and they instead charged up the back throw. Which means they're either super buying time, which doesn't make a lot of sense, or they have a switch ready and they want to get, get going with reverse shoulder throw even quicker. Now... How much, there's 120 HP, which means this 80 is not going to do it. Do I get... Let me use... No, let me use Prof first. What do we get? I was really hoping for an evolution on this Duskull. Because uh, Dusk that would have made a difference. Um, I'm super tempted to go for getting a lot of damage off from this Thrall. The thing is, I know my opponent is going to be hitting me from next turn. Um, that's what I needed. Desperately, it was Dusclops. 
Um, I think I'm gonna make use of this professor. I uh, know this is probably not a great play, but let's see what happens. So let's go for spooky shot. It's gonna be some nice damage. If my opponent doesn't have switch, that was 100% the right play. If my opponent does have switch, then I'm in a lot of trouble. So let's see what happens. Um, I sincerely hope they don't have switch because that's gonna make my life horribly difficult to try and deal with. Because again, I don't have another psychic energy. If I had another psychic energy, then I'd be in a bit of a better spot. By not having a single psychic energy, it's not helping. Yeah, there's a switch. Okay. I I, I knew that was coming. Um, it was pretty clear for my opponent's first couple of plays. Do I draw a psychic energy? This is not going to be a great game. I'm going to go into Soul Rock because I need to get some draws out. No, I'm not going to bother this land. This land is 100% dead. There is nothing I can do about that. Um, Soul Rock, as much as I'd like to get 40 damage off on this draw. <sighs> the thing is that, like, that 40 damage makes such a huge difference, especially with Rock Ruff. Because if I can get a Lycan Rock out, I'll be able to get a KO by getting that, that damage off on the thrall. But at the same time, I desperately need draws. I am so far behind in this game. Um, but I know it's better to always go aggressive. But yeah, yeah, my opponent can see it. Um, there's, not a, there's not a lot I can do right now. And it is highly frustrating, but sometimes it's just how it is. First impression of this deck is not great. Um, a lot of it comes down to really, really bad luck. And some of it does come down to just... Yeah, things not working out. The problem is, this has come too late. This dust box has come way too late. Um... Dustlops won't even survive a hit, I can't put that there. I can put Slander down because Slander is gone anyway. No matter what I put in, it's gone. Uh, I can at least get this going. Um, there's no point really doing that. Let's go Pokemon Fan Club. Let's get out an Inkay and let's get out another Duskull. And I guess let's start charging up this Duskull. Uh, it's not gonna help. So I'd, literally, I'd have to sweep with this, uh, with this Dusk Gnaw. And the chances of that happening are so low. Because it can't even come in next turn. That's the issue. And until I get a Psychic Energy, it's not going to do anything. So I need a lot to go right on this next turn. Ah, this is frustrating. I want this deck to do well. And it's just not. Well, we can finally see him. Now, what are the chances my opponent doesn't actually have Pokemon? Oh, they do have Pokemon. Um, ironically, I don't want to bring Mew down because Mew actually protects my opponent. So let's put some damage from Groudon. Uh, it's, it's cool. It's not going to do anything, but it is cool. So let's get rid of an Inke, just so it's out of my deck. Hopefully, I draw a Psychic Energy next turn. And yeah, let's get this going. The issue is, I've only got 150 HP. Now, uh, Garchomp won't... Uh, no, Garchomp won't KO me. One shot. Uh, nor Groudon. But the problem is, as soon as like they come in, um, I'm gone. Like, there's nothing I can do. So let's see. Let's bring in Dusknaw. Um, and yeah, well played for my opponent. It's a really bad game, again. Which is super frustrating. Because like I want this to do well. I really do, and it's just not. So on the plus side, this is going to deal a lot of damage. Um, because it's also weakness. So, casual 360 damage, which is really, really cool. And hey, at least I went down getting one prize card. Um, 
thanks for the pity plays to my opponent. Um, but yeah, this is 100% good. Yeah, well played, my friend. Bad draws, it happens. Thing is, like, I'm not even mad because, like, let's be serious. <laughs> it's how today is gone. So let's switch into Rock Raft to get as many draws off this Lily as possible. What do we get? Um, there is the Lycan Rock, finally. Um, so let's put the Lycan Rock down. Let's just show it off as a final hurrah. And we do even get Malamar out, which is really cool. So let's go Malamar. Let's go Saki Recharge. And let's charge up our Melamar itself, because I can. Uh, let's use Dark Invitation to bring down Mew, which I don't think would take damage penalties. Oh, it does. Interesting. I was wondering how the interaction would work. Oh, because it's not an attack. Of course, it's not an attack. It's an ability. And let's go for Dangerous Rogue. And that now is game. Because uh, unless my opponent has zero... Actually, it doesn't matter if my opponent has zero energies. That is 100% game. So, well played to my opponent. Um, this will be my last game with the deck. Super unfortunate. Um, sometimes you just have a really bad day. And I think that was me today. Which is unfortunate, but it happens. So, again, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I will do one more episode with this deck. I, I believe there's something here. And I do think this deck can perform a lot better. And... It hasn't performed today. It's a bad first impression from my side. Um, but I do feel like a lot more of that is my really, really bad luck. Now, one thing before I do turn off this video is don't forget my giveaway. I do want someone uh, to be able to pick up a really, really cool card. So, sorry, that was the wrong button. Um, and what I'm giving away is I'm giving away a really, really nice GX Pokemon in the form of, why do I not see it? Sorry, I'm giving, I'm giving away a Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX. Check out my video, the card is above my head for this deck. I uh, forgot this deck, sorry. The card is above my head for this card. And yeah, it's gonna go away to someone. Watch that video, you get all the details you need to see and you need to know and yeah, this is as a thank you so much for more than 100 subscribers. I'm already way past that now, which has blown my mind. And for getting a video past 1,000 views, which again, thank you all so much. I really do appreciate it. So I hope you did enjoy this video. I know it wasn't a great video in terms of a lot of losses. And it didn't really get a show off the deck. So I will give this deck another chance. I believe there is still some hope, but let's see how it goes. So again, thanks so much for watching everyone. Please do consider liking, subscribing. It does help me out as I'm trying to grow and get out there and just share this. And as always, if you do see any bad play from my side, let me know. I love reading those comments. I am learning to become a better player and more fresh sets of eyes always helps that. So again, thanks so much. Cheers, enjoy.